to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And today's topic is, what is a line graph? Now, a line graph is a graph with points connected by lines to show how data changes in value over time. Uh, and in mathematics, a line is the shortest distance between two points. Now, a point on a graph is a place marker. Uh, it's a place marker to show a set data point. And in that data point, it has two coordinates. And those coordinates are identified by an X and Y value. And you see those X comma Y value points. Uh, and that can be a numerical value, let's say, one comma one. And if we were going to plot one comma one in our graph, you would have to denote your values for x. So let's say here, this would be one on our x, this would be one on our y, and the point that we have here would be one comma one. That would be our data point. So let's gather some data and let's do our own line graph. So I have set up the following example setup for us to start doing with a set amount of data points that I collected. So the source for today's data is from weather.gov and the title of our graph is High Temperatures in Huntsville, Alabama for the week of April 19th through April 25th, 2020. So I went to weather.gov and looked up that range of high temperatures for that week worth of days. And I plotted those in a table in the bottom. So I have my information readily available for me to use with the date and the high temperature amount. So to make our graph, we need to first write our X and Y. So I have my Y vertical axis and then my horizontal x-axis. On the x-axis, I'm gonna have it labeled as days of the week. Days of the week. Now, I went ahead and put Sunday through Saturday, but to make it more scientific to match my source data down here, I'm also gonna write the date. I'm gonna start with the Sunday the 19th, Monday the 20th, Tuesday the 21st, Wednesday the 22nd, uh, Thursday the 23rd, Friday the 24th, and Saturday the 25th of April 2020. Now, my y-axis, I need to make sure I label it as well, and it's going to be the high temperature amount. So that's going to be our high temperatures for this week. Now I need to determine, oh, and that's going to be in degrees Fahrenheit, uh, since that's how our, our standard weather data is done in North America, or in the states. So going to find a scale based on what we have here with this data. So it looks like it's ranging between the uh, mid-60s to mid-70s. So I'm going to start with my value set here on the y-axis. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start it in at 55 degrees and go up in increments of five. So I'll do 55 degrees and then do 60 degrees, 65 degrees, 70 degrees, and then 75 degrees. So I'm doing this on a whiteboard and it would be so much easier if you had a piece of graph paper or ruled paper that you could see the lines easier. So if you happen to have that at home, please use that. But I'm using this so it's a lot easier for all of us to see and do this as one together. So our first value set that I have here for the 19th Sunday, the 19th I have 64 degrees. So I'm going to line up my Sunday the 19th and go up to here's 65, so right below it I'm going to put my point 
right there of reference, my data point reference. So I have for the 20th, I have 71 degrees. So I have Monday the 20th, I'm gonna go up 70 right above 70 right there. That's my next data point. The 21st, I have 76 degrees. 21st, 75, oh, it's gonna be up here in the title. Right there. The 22nd, I have 68 degrees. 22nd, so I'm gonna go up just below 70 there. For the 23rd, I have 69 degrees. So I'm gonna go up right under 70. Oh, needs to be a little bit higher up than 68. There we go. And then for the 24th, I have 71 degrees. 71 degrees right there. And for the 25th, that Saturday, I have 74 degrees right there. Now we have plotted these points on our graph, but for it to be a line graph, we have to show some connection over time. So people do that using lines to connect. So they usually start at the very base where we had our very beginning, which is zero. So zero, zero. And we're gonna connect the dots by their order to show change over time. Now that we've plotted our data points on our line graph, let's sort of review those data points as it's being picture represented. Seems at the very beginning of the week to the midweek we had a sharp increase climb in temperature reaching with a max temperature of 76 degrees, where then midweek we had a drop of temperature on Wednesday the 22nd, where we had it dip down to 68, but then a slow increase climb towards Saturday with 74 degrees going into the weekend. So this is an example of a line graph using data weather points. So I encourage you to go and discover other type line graphs uh, so that you can see other type data points in other type places. So go online, look in the newspapers, look in books to see what kind of line graph examples you can do. And I encourage you to collect your own data and do your own line graphs. So until then, always remember, science never stops.